Welcome to the most heretical stream on the internet. I give you Wally1169. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. Welcome to Tectonica. It is not a Factorio night tonight, it is a Tectonica night tonight. Batman is here. Welcome. Thank you for claiming it first and for highlighting the fact that you are number one. Much appreciated, Batman, for coming in and uh, $100 million. Now that's the other one. Marshall, welcome as well. Uh, uh, the quote that I did, uh, number one, I order you to go take a number two, is from Beavis and Butthead, but $100 million is uh, is Dr. Evil from uh, Austin Powers, of course. How are you doing tonight, Batman? Marshall, welcome. So, uh, Tectonica. We, I've played Tectonica a couple times on my YouTube channel. And uh, once during the, I don't know, alpha or demo or something phase way, way back, at least a year ago, I would say. And then, but I feel like it was more than that. And then uh, once again, about six months ago, when the game came to early access in version 0 0.1. You had fun diving into hell? Yeah, well, we're going to do a little bit of uh, diving into what could be considered a hell here in a, in a moment. Um, so the... Um, I did not cover 0 0.2, and I kind of wish I would have, but things were a little hectic, I think, a couple of months ago, and I didn't get a chance to, um, but they had a lot of QL well stuff in that. They also balanced a lot of the recipes, so they're easy to do in mental math, um, but we have um, a bunch more QL well stuff and some other enhancements that came to this um, that came to the, to this game today in version 0 0.3. Unfortunately, there is no new story yet. I think the new story comes in the next update, 0.4 maybe, or maybe 0.5. Uh, the next story update, the next kind of level in the factory. But I thought that it would be a good idea to come back in anyway. Take a look at the new stuff that's in this update, as well as the stuff we missed in the last one. And spend, I don't know how many streams on this, um, really. Uh, I think the last series was 20-some YouTube episodes. So that might come out to be about 10 streams but um you know who knows so it's been an early access since august batman uh, that's when i covered 0 0.1 and um uh, 0 0.2 came out in i don't know november december sometime and then this 0 0.3 just came out today so uh, we're going to jump in and we're going to take a look at what we can do in here uh this is a multiplayer game i am not playing in multiplayer obviously but this is a multiplayer capable game so at some point in the future perhaps i can convince some of the usual gang to uh to, to play with me and we can do some multiplayer but for now we're going to play single player and see how it goes um, again and kind of just uh, explore the game and see what it looks like here on this uh, on this version well just because it's 0 0.3 doesn't mean they're going to go to 0 0.9 before they go to 1.0 um, but also they could go to 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, etc. before they get to 1.0 Factorio did actually, Factorio made it to 0 0.18 0.18 before they went 1.0. Sivetlia Ree, welcome in. Uh, take that stupid hat off. I feel like I'm going to get a hat redeem in a moment here. And we can do that when you're ready. When you're ready. But in the meantime, we can probably go ahead and jump in and take a look at what's here and see where we want to go with it. You bought our type final two on steam earlier today so you might i don't know what that is but uh cool uh, new games are always good uh played on stream that's good pothead all right so you can see over here next to the pod um what some of the new features are uh, vertical belts, so lifts like in Satisfactory, for example. Um, game series started sometime around the Game Boy era. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, I've never heard of it, but then again, it doesn't surprise me. There's a lot of games that I never, that I've never heard of because they were outside of my uh, interested genres. Which is why when I switched to PC gaming, I kind of never went back to consoles much because you can't play the games I like to play on the console very easily. This is probably something you can't do. This one's a little easier than Factorio. Um, it's a little more along the lines of satisfactory in terms of complexity. Um, 
but it's a lot more Factorio-like in terms of the look and feel. And you'll see that once we get in here. So um, they've added some, a lot of more enhancements to the way belts work. And one of the things that's not highlighted here, oddly, is fixed height conveyor belts. So if, if you watched any gameplay of this or played it yourself at all, uh, you'll know that the, the belts, when you're trying to build a belt, it builds along the surface. And then if you're coming up to a crossing with another belt, it goes up and over that belt and then comes back down again. And there's no way to easily do just a second level of belt like this without... Um, Without, without a lot of fiddly, fiddly. Um, you can do it, but it's fiddly. Um, so instead, the belt kind of goes down and then comes, then, then comes, then comes back up again over the next one and like that kind of thing. So uh, by having fixed height belts, you can actually just do a second belt layer, which would be really nice to have. And I'm glad to see it. Um, also, um, this uh, like where, where belts join together and, and split. Uh, before it was an automated thing and it was a little finicky. Uh, they've had the ability for you to make those yourself. Um, that's uh, that's also not listed here, uh, which is kind of interesting. Uh, a couple things that they highlighted, then they missed a couple things that I'm most interested in. So uh, that's going to be kind of interesting to uh, to check those out as well, because you can now make them yourself and define where they are, and that removes a limitation that was there before. Um, Stack filter inserters will be really nice, especially for the plant-based stuff. I know because uh, we had trouble with that in the last series. Storage container limiting. No more 50 stacks of everything uh, without having to fill in those extra spots. Now you can just limit your storage containers. Thank you for that. Uh, replacer tool is like an upgrade tool, so that'll be nice to have. Quick copy is um, like an eyedropper, so you can quickly clone a building. That's going to be nice to have. Um... Let's see, a couple of brand new items in the game that lead to more new recipes and things like that. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump in, uh, and because there's a lot of stuff that, like I said, was in the previous update, 0.2, that I never experienced either. So we can just jump in here and take a look at what we have and what what's new in the game as far as building the factory. And we don't have to focus as much on the story because... We already know the story. If, if you haven't, if you don't know the story and you're interested, you can always watch my 0.1 series because the story is the same there. You've awoken in a mysterious facility with no memory of your existence. Emerge and build a sprawling factory to manufacture the machines and tools you'll need to explore this alien world. And you've never seen Satisfactory? It's 3D Factorio is what it was touted as. It's not really 3D Factory. This is more 3D Factory than Satisfactory is. But um, the recipes and the, the layouts of everything is a lot simpler than Factorio. So uh, this or Satisfactory might be a little easier to get into for Warning. that reason. Structural integrity failing. Oh no. All right, Emergency so we've, resuscitation of all personnel initiated. We've been chucked Exit out of our... facility and report to production terminal Lima. Um, out of our pod here. Your medical status is diagnostic failure. Well, I mean, that sounds about right. Report to medical officer for unknown. So we're here in like a, a cryo, cryopod uh, storage room. And we immediately can come out here and uh, take a look around. You can see a little bit of a factory there. Kind of gives you some examples of what you might want your factory to do if you build your factory. Um, you can actually get into this little, or you used to be able to, I don't know if you still can or not, get into this room here. Uh, there's a sneaky way to get in there, and then you can go in there and dismantle that stuff, but you also can build a crap ton of stuff, so kind of who cares. But you can't get in there from here. You have to get in there a different way. Uh, so in here, uh, we're going to just take all the stuff. Um, let's see, there's a control. No. Control shift. No. I don't remember. They patched that a while ago. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, I figured. I figured they would, because it's kind of like a... Uh, a lot of stuff that you could easily get at um, that Identified. They you shouldn't be able to. Industrial expedition to the planet of Calyx. All right, we can pick up the axe. Because we're going to need to um, chip away at this rock that's around here to get out of this place. Because, of course, there was a cave-in. We're going to dig. How are you doing, Zabiliary? There. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little particular on it just for fun. I 
And so you start out having to chip away at the stuff very manually like this, which is not fun, uh, which is why it's good that they give you the ability to chip away at stuff a lot uh, faster later on. Try and learn IC2 crops in Minecraft. I don't know what that is, but uh, I know what Minecraft is, barely. And uh, you can have it. <laughs> I have never been, I guess, interested in Minecraft. Like, I saw it once, I don't know, 15 years ago or something. I was like, I don't get this. Industrial Craft 2? Exit this facility. Yes, 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 I'm exiting. You're fine. All right, so we picked up along the way there a bunch of dirt and some limestone and things by chipping away at that. So we did that. Hello? Can you hear me? Your suit can't transmit a voice or ID signal, but my sensors are indicating you're out there. Uh-huh. First things first, check in at that production terminal. Okay. I need a second set of eyes on how badly damaged it is. I'm going to go ahead and start picking up some of these plants, too, because uh, we're going to need them. We're just going to pick them up. Tried it vanilla solo and hated it. Plus, all the people that kept bothering you to play it stopped playing. Yeah, I can believe it. We picked up Greg Tech New Horizons. It feels a lot like pie. Yeah, uh, Old Viking's been playing Greg Tech New Horizons uh, a lot lately. And uh, it's Friday streams every week is GTNH. Uh, so I've been watching it, but I just don't really get it. Get it? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I get it, but I don't get it kind of thing. Uh, iron ore, copper ore, 15 of each. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try crafting a few with materials from some of the chests around here. All right, we can do some more looking around while we're at it. Ooh, oh, we can't pick those up yet, can we? Uh, there's a way to transfer all. Control, left click. No. Take all, space, that's, that's what it is. Okay, there we go. Space, there we go. Take all the things. Diabolical, Mad of Minecraft is about the only way you can play it. Honestly, Vanilla's boring AF. Well, that could be. I mean, I, I think what I looked at was only vanilla. But for me, there's got to be a bit of a story behind it or uh, some progression dri driving mechanic. Otherwise, I'm not going to not gonna be interested for long. Um, I, I can't just do sandbox for sandbox's sake. It's got to be, you know, like Factorio, uh, where you get... Um, let's see, there we are. Where you get... Task inbound. Mining drill. Must be built at an oh, oh, oh. Is that land. all you do? Mark, welcome. Um, where you get some sort of a story or something along that line. So we need to start mining some iron here. I'm going to just give them uh, half of a stack of plant matter here. Each. And then we'll go mine some copper, which is over there. I know that because, well, I've been here before. And that's, that's iron, by the way. You can tell because it's it's silvery, because iron is silvery when you find it in its ore form uh, out in the wild, in the real world. It is definitely not reddish colored. Just like copper is definitely orange in the real world, it is definitely not um, green tinted. There's sarcasm there, if you weren't gathering that. Sorry. Uh, let's see, can I get this one in here? Nah. All right, we're just gonna get one of these then. It's fine. You have half of a stack. Seems sus, exactly. Oh, there's more copper over here. Right, 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 there's more over here. There we are. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's go, how much, how much iron have you mined already? Not much. Okay, let's go pick up that iron. Or how much copper have you mined? Right, copper. Let's go pick up the iron we have over here. Because like I said, we need three or 15 ore from each. And there's plenty in there. And in there. Then we'll go pick up the copper. Now that it's got head time. How you doing tonight, Diabolical and Mark? Good to see you both. If either of you, if any of you who are here played Tectonic at all? Or are you all uh, newbies to it? Come over here and we'll repair the... Oh yeah, we gotta dump it in there. Repair the terminal with it. There's still, there's still this crazy screen. 
We put around 100 hours into it, Chevalier, and Diabolically played some too. Iron ingots and copper ingots. Good work getting that ore plugged into the terminal, Groundbreaker. If you weren't on my crew, you should have been. Okay, equipment. Ah, the scanner. Good. The scanner for is the good. For the next phase of repairs, you're going to need a scanner. The tech for it unlocked automatically when you fix this thing. So, open up your crafting menu and build one. Suit speed, too. Inbound. Scanner. Scan machine fragments to restore tech tree access. Creeping Hydra. Upgrade module scan. It's like Calidar. Additional tech tiers or cores may be required. That was a smelter Open fragment. Tech tree to review. That was a smelter fragment. And that was a smelter fragment. So now we can make smelters. Uh, once we unlock it with two of these Warning. purple cores. Research cores required for activation of new technologies. Yeah. Refer to tech tree for current core manifest. And here's a couple things that else we can scan. That was a one of two long inserters. Here's another one. And but we can scan also these um these miners here to get just some random stuff. We got iron components there as well as um ingots. Oh, we got these chests here too. Space. 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 And then these are the cores. Uh, we need to make more cores, I think. Yeah. Let's make a couple of couple of cores. Uh, and then we can put those up here someplace. Just stack them in here kind of thing. Research cores constructed. Smelter technology available for activation in tech tree. Activate that. Technology activated. Proceed with construction of smelter. Thank you. Smelter. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can also scan these lights. And it's kind of a mixed bag to do so. Because on one hand, you... Um, interesting. On one hand, you get the ability to re replace them, so that's good. On the other hand, you got to do it, so that's, that's not as good, but that's fine. I'm just going to put a couple of smelters down over here. i got to make them first, I guess. Task inbound. Smelter. Supply with ore to produce ingots. Requires plant matter for fuel. Uh, there's a condense inventory, sort inventory. There it is. Uh, so let's just dump iron in here and a half a stack and copper in here and the other half a stack. I'm going to go get some more ore. And some more of this plant matter because we're going to need it. This, it's going to be a long time, relatively speaking, before we get another form of fuel. So it's uh, probably a good idea to do this. Let's just scan what we find, too, because we're going to need it, or we can use it, or something. And I always miss something laying here on the ground, too, in some of these places, because uh, they're harder to see. A few of those. Pick up some of this. There's a few of those. Okay, we should have enough ingots now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go turn those in. We can get rid of this stupid rock here like that too, so we're not tripping over it all the time. Much of the world here is modifiable, which is kind of a nice thing. Um, because it's good to destroy things sometimes. second let me do something real quick okay so the next thing we need is conveyor belts inserters and containers terminal upgraded basic automation schematics available all right so that means we need to unlock some things um long inserters we scanned enough of those but the things that we actually need we can make. Okay, so we're going to have to handcraft these things because we don't have the ability to automate assembly of them yet. So we're going to have to handcraft. Let's see, we needed a box, I think. What was the numbers again? I forgot. Uh, one container. So we'll make one container. 
uh, fire two inserters, and then 15 conveyor belts. And right click will give you five stacks of crafts, and there's five in a craft uh, recipe. So we just made 25 belts, just like that. Uh, this button, there we go. You, you, and you. Upgrade. Fully upgraded. Beacons are back online. Inspect the radio console right next to the screen. It'll start beeping and blinking in three, two, one. All right. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Life sign. All right. Over Access there. Access to all local facilities should be restored, including the one I've been stuck in this entire time. I've set an unlock code to the door. I've got some tech you're going to like. And I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me anyways. There's something else we can scan here. Tool belt. And a little cot back here. Alright, so let's go to the signal. Uh, we're probably going to be able to find a few more things scattered around back here. I just don't remember. Um, but luckily those chips glow, so you can kind of see them pretty well. Let's also pick up vegetation along the way here. Because we're going to need it. In here. And we can scan these again and drop them back down again. All it gives us is a little bit better light from them. From what I can remember. Sending that signal was more complicated than you think. I don't know why, but... These computers feel like second nature now. <laughs> sort of the opposite of what I remember it being like. I'd be the one to get you out of a situation like this instead of the other way around. But I'm not giving up. That's how I know it's still me in here. You'll see. Uh huh. You'll see. All right, in we go. I remember there being some sneaky, sneaky stuff in here too, someplace. I'll have to find. But we'll go find her first. And then we'll come back out. Casualties detected. Mm-hmm. What? You've never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube next to their own dead body before? <laughs> Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. Hopefully, it was worth a shot. Let's go. Alright, so we have some chests to pick up, and there's, I think, some either some more chests or chips or something scattered uh, elsewhere. I'm going to put that cube away because it's a little bright. Um, but I don't remember exactly where they're at, so I think some of them are up high. And maybe not in this room. Anybody remember? Uh, maybe some down low as well. Something like down in here. Right? Am I misremembering? Down here. There's one. There's like three chests in this room. So let's see if we can find them all. That was one. Uh, uh, uh. Two. Were those? Oh, advanced circuits. The third one might be up high. The third one up high, or the third one was weirdly accessed. Maybe. I'm drawing a blank now. Um. Over here. Over here. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, there we go. These construction pieces. They're made from a special kind of building material. I can't remember where they came from, but I feel like we'll find more eventually. Okay. Got that one already. Oh, that was a weird clip. Okay. Is this, was there also one up high in this room? That's where we were, I think, is down there. 
Like walking along a pipe sounds familiar or something, like that pipe. Yeah, I think so. Like this. And then following along this way. Something weird. Yep, there it is up there. Okay, there's a, there's a fourth one up in this room. One up high and three down low. There it is. Alright, so I think that's it in this room. And then we can go back into the previous room to this one and find something else. In this. Stop. Scan the fragment in that cage by the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get out of the sector. Got a mole. And we got conveyor belt mark two. And then we can pick this stuff up too. Lots of purple purple spheres, that's good. I don't think there's anything else in this besides that stuff that was in this little cage. So we can uh, keep coming this way. Activate the mole on the tech tree. Okay, we're going to maybe go back to... No, we'll do it anyway. Uh, let's see. Terraforming and the mole. Oh, we got to put those spheres down. So let's go back to our, our little base thing there. Local signal deciphered. Sector headquarters. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Okay. Sounds like the terminal is fully rebooted. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon it adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. Because this is another way around. So there's a lot of areas still in here that we need to explore, but um, we don't need to. We just need to. You know what I mean? Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Production terminal, Victor. Breaker, this is the time to activate the mole in your tech tree and build one. We won't be able to cut through to Sector Victor without it. I built all those spheres, and we can go in the tech tree. We can unlock the mole. We can have a look through some of these. Like we can do, we can unlock some of these because we're at Lima tier four. Um, maybe we want to, maybe we don't. Filter inserter. Uh, we don't we haven't scanned yet. Long inserter. We could activate. The issue with activating some of these things is that you can once you do, you you're stuck for a while on them. So it may not be the best thing to do to activate a bunch of things. But uh, we have a few things we can Task activate. Inbound. Right. Mole. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. Make one of those. Uh, let's move some of this other stuff around. We can have the mole here in our toolbar. And the mole is basically a giant drill that works through some sort of weird wibbly wobbly magic. Um, I remember there's more there's more crap to scan back here somewhere, isn't there? I think so. Let's go look around to scan a little bit. See if we can find any more stuff to scan before we leave. Turn that off because it's kind of annoying. Yeah, there's something over here. These were training and information terminals, Breaker. Scan them and then open up your data bank to take a closer look at anything that hasn't been scrambled or lost. So the data bank is full of information, uh, none of which we're going to read, and we'll probably regret that decision, but um, it's a lot of information. So if you're playing the game on your own, read through it, but uh, I'm going to not do it right now. So if I remember correctly, the sneaky way to get into that room is right here. Bulletin. This mall is not authorized to destroy resources, critical infrastructure, or protected environmental areas. To, yeah, so you can get in here still, Sibeliary. It's completely open now. It's not even blocked anymore. Which is kind of interesting. 
Um, but you can't take the stuff down anymore. It's not deconstructible. So unless there's crap in the uh, in the bins, um, you can't actually do anything with this anymore. You can't even scan it anymore. Uh, you can inspect it, but there's nothing here to do. So you can use this stuff for maybe manufacturing. Oh, you can scan some of it. Some of this is ruined. You can scan. Okay, let's do that then. But you can't pick any of it up. Just the broken stuff can be scanned. Now we sell the broken stuff because it looks like it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, derped out. Scan. Yeah, good. Um, I think you can pick up the resources that are on the belt, though. Which may or may not be worth it. Probably not. But yeah, you can pick up the resources that are on the belt. But since I think they're pulling those out of one of these bins, let's start with that first. Yeah. Pull them out of the bins. So you get a little bit of extra stuff here if you come in here, and so it's kind of worth it, but not super worth it. I forgot I can scan all the all the plants too. And I don't even think you can do any mole work in here, can you? Oh yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't do you a whole lot of good, so there's not really a whole lot of point. But you can actually come in here and like mine that iron and copper if you want to use it later and ship it over to your uh, to your base you have set up. But I don't feel like I ever needed it. I believe there's another chip to scan over here too someplace, but I can't remember how you get to it. It's back in here someplace. It might even be like right here, like in another little cave or something. But I can't remember even where it is. But I think it's back here someplace, like right there even. Haha, <laughs> I did it. Or another a chest and a chip. Nice. So yeah, so they, they, they left this in here, but it's not as... It's not that useful. Um, but hey, it's free stuff, and I like free stuff. So I took the free stuff. Okay, turn that off. Uh, so I dilly-dallied long enough, I think. Uh, we can go... Move on. We could make more of those cores and unlock more of these techs if we wanted to, but we can also just do it at the next site just as easily. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, what I'm going to do before we go and do that is I'm going to load up on all of this ore that we have um, and smelt a bunch of it. The Planet Crafter. Uh, Marshall, I've played a series, a mini series at least, of that game for every update that it has had. So yes, I've heard. All right, there we go. And the rest of it I'll take with me. Uh, and then if we want some more of those ingots, we can come back and get them, but odds are we're not gonna need them. So the game wants us to dig through here. Uh, if that wasn't a big enough clue for you, then uh, I'm sorry. I never got the chance to thank you for getting me out of that facility. You're welcome. I appreciate it. At the time, it seemed like the best thing to do was focus on work. Not get caught up in thinking about anything else. I've tried to stay sharp for both of us, but now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it. I was terrified. It'll be good to see some friendly faces. And a few thousand twinkling lights. I'm sure you've got people there, too. Mm-hmm. All right, so this, uh, yeah, we want to go this way, ish. Roll through here. Oops. I let it go too early. So this thing will overheat if you keep it, if you keep it going. So you kind of have to give it a, a moment to take a break uh, after you drill each time. Uh, as you get upgrades later, it can be upgraded a bit to take to do more damage and run more between but I I don't understand a factory the size of a city is supposed to be here it was right 
here. I know it was. Where is everybody? And there goes the story. So according to Steam, I have 105 hours in the Planet Crafter. Which seems about right. Uh, so let's go over here to the terminal. Ooh, scan. And... Take all the things. Getting a little full, but I'm taking all the things anyway. There's a lot of new... Uh, building material things, though. Um, so I may want to put some of that stuff away, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this. I almost have enough ingots, uh, but we also need some of these Kindle Vine stems. We're going to have to make those. This terminal is trying to reach out to a hundred facilities that might not exist anymore. Might not. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Right now, you should either get started on a local mining operation to make ingots, or start looking into how to make those Kindle Vine stems. If you check the chest near Victor, you might find enough power floors to decipher the first signal. We definitely need new types of machines to make the goods this terminal's looking for, and those signals seem like our best shot at finding them. Task inbound. Power floor. Build to establish structural foundation and conduct electricity from crank generators. Alright. Local signal deciphered. Ingress RH-1979. Report to production terminal radio for okay. triangulation. There is a story to this. Yes. Oh, that? Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Exceptional dimensions. Exceptional dimensions. So I have a lot of plant matter now, so that's good. Uh, let's make some more smelters, maybe. So maybe we can do a little bit of smelting here. So that's where that signal RH is. Uh, we have a task to go find it at some point. Yeah, that's what she said. That is what she said. I'm just going to put a couple of these down for right now, and we'll just do what we did before, which is dump all the ore and a bunch of fuel in them and see what comes out the other end. We also have these bio bricks, which are fuel. I'm going to wait on that. Um, oh, that's right. This thing goes on forever. Okay, good. Ever and ever and ever. All right, so we'll smelt that. Uh, we're going to need a few more miners as well. Uh, so that's here. Get four of those. Uh, there's iron and copper nearby here. Uh, there's iron shining over there, and there's copper shining over here. So we're going to want to set that up as well. Um, I think what I want to do is just connect this power floor uh, everywhere if we can, which we can't. We also need to set up all these cores. Maybe we should do that first, first. There's a thing to build the cores on later, but I'm just going to pile them up all back here for right now. Uh, and then we'll move them onto the thing later. Oops. All right. That'll give us a few more things that we can unlock different technologies then. Addicted to capping, hydrate, and a posture check. Not a lot. You know me, I'm slouching. And then also, a nerd shirt alert. Today's nerd shirt appears to be a picture of Caladorn. It's not actually Caladorn, but it appears to be a picture of Caladorn. It's Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. Live long and prosper. In his uh, Star Trek outfit. All right. And then, of course, the game disappears. Uh, so, we have decomposition. 
Um, we have filter inserters to find, hover pack to find, crank generators to find, mass collect, mass deconstruct would be useful. Basic construction would be even more useful, though. Because that gives us the ability to craft more of these floors. Bunch of. Whole bunch of floors. Remember how these all, all these controls work. I'm just going to run a single, maybe a double line out here. Um, yeah, a double line will be good. Out here someplace. And then we can go from there to there someplace. Uh, Here-ish. No. Too far over. This also might be a little too high up, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, over here, then. i to get the Wally out of the way, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. How are you doing tonight, Addicted? Let's do this. And then we'll do some more here to put a platform in. For our miners. Uh, and then I can... Oops, control. There we are. I'm actually going to put this up on the platform, as well as this one. And not down here on the ground anymore. If I can get up on the platform, thank you. We also need to do a little bit more construction of those. Which means we need to go get some more stuff first here. Here we are. And I also want to do some mole drilling here. Here's some of the dirt. It's caked up here next to the copper. Beautiful. Alright. So then we can do some more of those floors. Right up here, like this. And we can put down miners right up against this copper. Or so. <sighs> Fell. Hmm. Oh, they're like snapping into a line, I think. That's fine. Uh, and then let's do... You can have a stack, and you can have a stack. And then we'll go over to the other side, to the iron. And do the same thing. Uh, let's do... A little bit wider on this path. Just because I'm gonna fall. And fall. And fall. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're out of ones we can craft. Let's go let's go get some more iron ingots so we can craft some more. I think they were just iron, right? Iron and copper, okay. Never mind. Take that too. Make a bunch of a whole bunch of. Like that, but I can't actually jump up there. Uh, we should have some stairs someplace. Yeah, they're here number six in my toolbar, which we can easily take advantage of like this. Like Those that. stairs conduct power the same way floors do, Breaker. Ooh. Might not sound like high technology, but it was. That's new. Pretty sure they didn't do that before. I could have um, scanned that light there. Never put the other ones up, though. It's okay, we'll put them up later. I'm on the wrong side here. Three lights. Use them later. And I went over the thing again. I could build up the stairs on the other side, I suppose. Uh, let's do a couple miners here. And 
and then let's do a stack and a stack. And there we go. That gets us started. Uh, we also need to make those Kindle Vine stems, which I think we can craft. Can we craft those ourselves, or is that something we have to unlock with the technologies in synthesis? This this is here. Okay. We need decomposition to make dirt out of plant matter. And then we need to scan some planters to get there. Really? Oh, we need to do the planters and threshers to get to that, to get Kindle Vine stems? We don't have any? We didn't pick any up somehow, randomly? Gravel. I guess we need to do that. Okay. I do happen to remember where some of those things are, so we can go take a look. But let's get some more smelting started first, before we go. So pick this stuff up. Go over to the other side, pick their stuff up. I guess I should have moved the smelters down here, maybe. Uh, because they'll be more useful if they're closer. But we also have to go all the way down to the thing all the time anyways, so, the terminal. So it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. I'm gonna scan these ones, too. I'll put these ones back down, though. Uh, you can have the ingots you have here. That's fine, although we are out of iron already. Um, and then the Kindle Vine stems. Is there a way to get those without having to go through all the scanning of things? Or is that it? Yeah, I need a lot more iron. That must be it. Let's go, um... that way. You can see on the map that there's some stuff this way. And there's the stuff. Hey, a battery pack. Sorry, an accumulator substation. I'll try to go easier on the recon slang. It might help you guess at what those signal names are short codes for. Accumulators won't matter for a while, but get in the habit of scanning anything and everything you find in places like these. It can only help. And who? Anything you can scan like this is garbage. So you might as well just pick it up. If it doesn't, if it isn't scannable like those ones aren't, then you don't lose anything by by doing by uh, trying to do it. Ooh, definitely scan that. That's something new. Uh, this here. And then once you've scanned enough to get the to get the recipe, then they scan real fast. Right there's a box here. Three hundred more floors. That's good. And there's a building here, too. If anyone else is still around, they wouldn't be here. These places were pretty much built and left alone. More stuff. And we can even scan some of the computers. This sector was a dream come true for hydroelectric power. It isn't surprising that we took accumulator construction seriously down here. I faintly remember power sources in other sectors that were even stronger, but they also tended to do things like explode, set things on fire, create giant clouds of poison. You get the drift. Fun stuff, though. Can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned river. Accumulator substation. All scans complete. Let's 
drop that here so I can put this balloon light back down. And then I'm going to swap the uh, regular lights back in there. Ooh, standing lamps. Interesting. Alright, so we have this area. And that was the RH... No, that's not the RH signal. The RH signal is still a little bit off. Further off. Uh, we can go do that. Um, we're going to want to do that. That was the other signal that we had here that we were looking for, so that's good. Uh, I believe we can punch through this wall here really easily. Somewhere in this area. Yeah, I gotta let it cool down just a bit here. Yeah, there we are. More stuff to scan. Chip there too. HVC Reach 2 technology. So here's where the RH signal is. Gotta drill in here someplace. Uh, the best place to do it is right here, it looks like. Right here where this lamp is. Convenient. Let's drill in there. So we might These crank generators are toast. Try scanning both fragments, then rebuilding and activating one of them on this power floor. That door should pop right up. Okay. There we go, and then let's make one. I don't remember where they are. Oh, we gotta do the technology tree. Right, crank generator. Task inbound. Crank generator. Activate with manual or automated rotation to produce electricity. Gotta wait for it to get made. Takes a minute. Anything else I can do in here? Yeah. Another room over there. Secured. Okay, crank generator. Where did you go? There you are. Let's just do that for right now. Put this down. And then we can actually come up and activate the crank. And we have five minutes worth of power on this thing now. Power restored. Oh. Jackpot. A warehouse. I knew that gigantic door was a good sign. Scan this place for some basic electrical machines, especially those planters and brushers on the racks, and pick up anything else you can find. You can do. Fast inserter. We can delete these things. But not the floors, but the things we can delete, so we should pick those up, because we can use them. Maybe I should do that mass deconstruct option. Because then we can do this. A little bit easier. Let 
Nothing in that box, nothing in that box. Uh, we need to scan these things. These, I think, are filters. Yeah, filter inserters. We got threshers now. We got filter inserters now. Are we limited on the size? I guess we are. Yeah, we're limited on the size. Okay. If I remember correctly, there's a few other boxes in here, too. I want to look around a bit. Did I open this box? I did. Okay. Can I? Yeah, I can't deconstruct that either. A lot of stuff here, though. So that's kind of good. That's the end of the road for you. Lots of good tech fragments here, but I doubt we'll find anyone to rescue. People Irish setter. Get back out there. Who's bad as Caldorn? Ooh, there's a box right there. I'm going to put this inside the pot like this because I gotta make it line up right or as best I can so we're picking up all kinds of crap from these machines which is intended so this is basically a giant warehouse and there's all kinds of crap in here. Including all these things that I don't really know, uh, that are all new, that I don't really know how to use yet. Did this one. Warning. Yune has anti-gravitational weight limit exceeded. Oh, I'm full. Your suit can only hold so much in a weightless state without slowing you down, Breaker. Get to a container and offload a few things as soon as possible. Okay. Let's run back. I'm gonna have to drop off some of the stuff then, actually. Um, let's drop off like some of these component things, these construction bits. We can come back and get them kind of later. Yeah, the weight limit is new. Yep. I'm going to take all the stuff out of all these, though, and put it in the last one. Uh, sort. Our crank generator just ran out of juice. Don't keep those. Metal stairs, metal stairs, metal stairs. These bits here. There. We gotta go upstairs yet, too. I'm just getting components from this crap now, but that's what I want. Just components. Alright, the way upstairs is right over there. I should have just done it that way. Also, I forgot to check that box. Uh, there's more crap up here, so we can keep disassembling crap. We gotta figure out how to get into that room. Uh, there's a box down there, too. I think there's something down underneath this here. Yeah, there is. Thank you. 
All the things. Must collect all the things. Okay, there's that box. I think they recall there being another box back here someplace. There's one. More crap we don't need. There's one. Mole temperature calibrated. Auto injection of coolant standing by. So we picked up some stranglethorn, shiverthorn. Stranglethorn, that would be, uh, wow. Some shiverthorn coolant, which can be used in the mole automatically to keep it cool to let you run it uh, more, longer, better, faster. Uh, so what does this door take to repair again? 10 processing units. Do I have any processing units? I do not. And it's going to be a while before we can make them. So. Task inbound. Supply facility access door with self-repair materials. Mm-hmm. Look through the window breaker. I can literally see the mining charge tech fragment on that table. Yeah. What kind of miserable bureaucrat puts high explosives behind a securely locked door? You think we would be here if we didn't know what we were doing? I want you to fix that door as soon as possible. I want you to blow things up. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's also punched through here. Yes, right here. Shiverthorn breaks down the same way Kindlevine does, Breaker. Once we get the PT fixed up, you'll be able to plant and thresh these, too. Phase 2 of Season of Discovery, they turn Numerican into a 10-man raid. Nice. So I know there's all these Shiverthorns in here, which I'm not going to go through and pick them all up right now, but... Uh... Interesting. Um, there might be some other stuff we can scan back here. I'm trying to remember if there is. If everything else is right where we left it, my camp might as well be too. If you were part of my crew, you'd probably recognize this place. The procedure was to take a portable habitat module into the field. That wasn't for us. So we rigged an assembler to make all this instead. We did everything our own way, but whatever they needed for the expedition, we found. People leave you alone when you get results. Those were good times. Good times. At some point, something else started to matter. That part is all a blur. Yes, there isn't anything I know scannable. We were supposed to go home. Alrighty. In that case, let's beat it for now. Uh, back to our base. Ooh, there's crap over here I can scan. There's somewhere else I can scan a bunch of stuff. I'm probably missing things on the ground, too. I have a vague recollection that I did that before, so I might as well do it again. Um, there's more iron right here that we'll be able to pick up. Just beat it. It could be that the stuff that I'm thinking of is in... No, it would have been in here if it was anywhere. This is the back side of the iron we have already. Uh, so we'll be able to get to that. Um, we can embiggen this, uh, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this river, so we can actually travel through the river, too. But some of it, some parts of it aren't deconstructible, which is weird. Uh, let's see. Do this and that, and just put some stairs up right here, too. Music just get louder for some inexplicable reason. Oops. Need a bunch of. I forgot to dump off the rest of those building material things in the other box, but that's okay.
Tone to now tooth. Now that we have planters Welcome. and threshers, you'll want to start building them on power floors as soon as possible. And don't forget to build a few crank generators on the same floors to get them going. Yes, ma'am. We need some more smelters, too. Uh, we're going to need a crap ton of floors. We have some. That's good. Let's do this here. Uh, let's just build this stuff out here, then, maybe. That was a new update. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of the... Gotten to a whole lot of new stuff yet, because I started fresh. Um, so, I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do yet to dictate if I'm going to do a full playthrough, if I'm just going to just do a little bit. Um, or, you know, a few streams or something. But we'll do something for sure. Uh, let's see, we do have some stems. I saw them here. That's plant matter fiber, not stems. All right. Uh, let's see. Did I pick up any ability to... Or do I have to make them? I have to make them. Okay. Let's make some threshers and... Uh, other things. Um, those are... Here. There we are. Kindle vine threshing. You don't have the update? Planter. Supply with seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora. Electrical power required. Task inbound. Thresher. Supply with resources to produce a variety of organic goods. Electrical power required. Your console. Oh. Not on the same release schedule, huh? Is it coming like in the next day or two, or what's the plan for that? Because I don't know. Alright. Okay, so let's build uh, a couple of these things. I don't remember how they work exactly. Bunch more smelters I can put up though. We should do that. Put up some smelters right here for now. Just go ham on the uh, on the smelting because why not? And then we have thresher. You've got the right idea building those machines, Breaker. But don't forget that they need electricity to run. Right. And that means you need to build it on a power floor or calisite platform that has a working crank generator on it, too. Got the power floors. And if the power taps out, that means you need to crank them again. Crank it up. Do, uh... Be with these. Now that you have a thresher, your next step is to build a planter that can produce the kindle vine you need for threshing into kindle vine stems. Yep. The thresher will also produce more kindle vine seeds that you can feed back into your planters. It's a simple loop, but a strong one. Uh, we should be able to just dump the kindle vine in here, right? Don't I have kindle vine? Should have kindle vine. Oh, I have the seeds, right. So we do need to have the planter pl planting. Uh, let's see. Here we are. Uh, let's see. Since certification is up to Microsoft, Xbox, yeah. That's the problem. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we need to dump some seeds into these things. Uh, I think we need a few of these. I don't know how many we need, but we need a few of these. Take a few of them. And then, uh, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Yeah, I kind of gave up on consoles. Um... Thank you. A long time ago. Just plant a bunch of these things. Uh, we're going to handle this manually for right now. We'll, we'll automate this in a bit, but for now we're going to handle it manually. I could have sworn I had some whole Kindle vine, but I guess we just picked the seeds when we picked them up. Alright. And these will last for five minutes, as we talked about earlier. So that should be fine. Um, let's grab 
more ingots, more ores. Get out of consoles since the PS3. I have an Xbox 360 um, and a Nintendo Wii. And that is the extent of my consoles. Before that, I think the last console I owned was a Super Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo's kind of its own generational structure, so it's hard to match it against the others. Uh, and they kind of don't care. <laughs> Which is good, but also kind of weird. Uh, let's see what we can do for iron. I don't know how much iron ingots I have, but we'll see what we can do for iron for this. Yeah, I have plenty. Let's drop those in here. Uh, what I wanted to do also was drop those building component things in here. Uh, not the power floors, but all these fancy building stuffs. Keep, uh, keep the stairs too, I guess. Those can go in there. Uh, wall lights... Hanging lamps, railings, and wall plants can all go in there, I think, safely. And then I'll go grab them out of the other box later. You had NES when it came out? I didn't have it when it came out. I got one from a garage sale at some point. doing this manually right now, but we'll switch it over to be automated uh, in a little while. There we are. Kindle line. Have at it. Nintendo's also toxic toward everyone else. Well, you're not wrong. Uh, they do tend well done, to... Well Breaker. Your first Kindle Vine stem just got threshed, and you're on your way to repairing PT Victor. You've got the fundamentals now, so I'm going to start letting you learn from your mistakes instead of buzzing in your ear about them. Good. I think. One last thought. Those stems you're making are more than good for P.T. Victor. They're also a better fuel than plant matter will ever be. Pop a few into your drills and smelters, and you'll see what I mean. Good luck. All right, once the plant matter's gone, we'll do that. It's about even. Most of what Nintendo does now is lawsuits. First piece of game was missed on floppy disk. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm part of that generation too. Let's go. We needed 40 Kindle Vine stems. We're not quite there yet. Uh, we have 21. So let's, let's wait a minute for the rest of these to get made. In the meantime, we can keep an eye on this so that when they're ready, we can pick them and replant them. Uh, so this will eat, which is really nice. It tells you right here. This will eat 10 uh, Kindle Vine per minute spit out 10 seeds and 30 of these thingies. Uh, these will make... We don't know how much. Um, they're growing. Oh, we need to crank crank the wheels. Crank the wheels. Crank, crank. What a crank. Actually, we need more. More, more, more. Oops. build system in this game is really a lot better than some other games. Um, there we go. Actually a little power positive now. Uh, let's get these guys finish up before we go. That way we can really get them go. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Jeopardy on a Tandy 1000. Um, I think my five and a quarter floppy was all in my Commodore 64. I don't think I had it. Oh, I did have it on the 286 also. But Mist was, uh, was not on three and five and a half, I think. Or five and a quarter. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I think it was past that generation. You can have these. 
and we can repair the German. You can't remember most of the day-to-day? -day? Yeah. Alright, so we need a crept and iron ingots, crept and a copper ingots, and some plant matter frames now. New technologies and recommended tasks available. And this and that. Uh, we, assemblers, we need to find and scan some of those. We're going to want those really soon. Um, basic powder bricks. Mole flattening. Um, probably want to do this filter inserter at some point pretty soon. A hover pack could be nice for building. I'm going to quickly run out of things to do, though. Um... Crank span. Extends the amount of time to 30 minutes. Yeah, we could use that. Where do we get the core... The stacker thingy? Anybody remember, know where we get that? The auto core builder thingy. Is it still another tier before we can get it? Because... That's kind of a nice thing to have. It's time to do a bit of exploring and take things to the next level with those threshers, Breaker. Okay. Now that you have Kindlevine stems, you'll need to thresh them a second time to make plant matter fiber. And then you can either use the fiber to handcraft the plant matter frames or build an assembler to do it twice as fast. Gonna find and if those you assemblers. haven't found assemblers yet, keep working on unlocking more signals, or go for a walk on your own. You never know what you might come across. Local signal deciphered. Ingress HA1976. Report to production terminal Victor for triangulation. Okay. Thresher advisory. All generated outputs must be relieved for production without disruption. Filter inserter recommended. Right. A thresher can make two products out of one material, so make sure you have inserters pulling out both, even if you only need one of them right now. The machine can get backed up if you don't. Filter inserters are especially critical for machines like threshers that produce both seeds and plant matter. You might not want to have different things spitting out to the same line or getting pulled into the same machine, and the filter inserter is going to help you with that. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Beware of current. So we have HA and we have WO. Uh, there was five missed games, I believe. Uh, Jeff would know because I think he's played them all, but I believe there were five. Uh, so we, we can go find HA or WO. I think WO is a little bit beyond us right now, right? Uh, we need we need to find the assemblers though. Where the hell are the assemblers at? To scan. I can never remember. Or I cannot remember, I should say. I know there's another cave over here. Might have stuff to scan, it might just be more the same. Pick up some more of these, I suppose, at some point. Limestone mining over here. Jeff Fafa likes the obscure games. Jeff Fafa plays all kinds of games, not just obscure ones. Here's some miners. Pick those up. And this. That power just went out again. Of course it did. Unauthorized equipment detected. Ooh. Blast smelter. This looks like a standard field setup for drilling a new shaft, but there are two problems with it. The first problem is that we're at the end of the line. The only thing below here is the core, and this shaft doesn't look like it was cut large enough for freight anyways. The second problem is that nobody asked me first. That's a much bigger problem. If whatever they were up to here was bad enough that they thought I would report it, it must have been very wrong or very dangerous. Or both. Or both. Identified. Zeno material containers. No contents detected.
All right. Where the hell were the assemblers at? Do, 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 do. I need to crank all those generators again, don't I? Hey, yep. Oh, I should grab some more ore as well. Chain of command, do you speak it? Exactly. Well, yeah, Mrs. is a Jeff game. He's played it on stream or YouTube or one of the both. Stream, I think. Not that I, I played it too. I mean, I played it back in the day. I had it on CD ROM for MS DOS or something. Uh, so it's not it's not like it's a game that I wouldn't play. It's just a game that I haven't played. Oops, I forgot to put seeds in the first one in a long time. And I don't. I think I played Riven, but I don't think I played any since then. Frustrated the hell out of you as a child? Yeah. Me too. I think when I first played it, I might have been a little bit too young. Uh, no, not these ones. Uh, these ones here. And let's go grab some iron and feed that in, too. Okay, so I think we can go this way to get to something. Um, we're gonna wanna do... But I don't remember where the assemblers are. That's the back side of the copper node we're mining. Uh, we can mine the dirt around it, and oh, there's nothing else in here. All right. Yeah, you can mine a lot of the walls with the with the drill. It just takes a long, long, long ass time. With the drill as the level it's at right now, that is. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna work around what we have because. Yeah. There's more Shiverthorn. Alright, W.O. is that door that we can't open yet. Right. More Shiverthorn here. There might be more chips in this area, too. I can't remember. But yeah, a lot of this is editable. Um, so you can just drill it out. But it gets boring. Aha! Look at what I found. Um, to the point, yes. Um, some of the stuff's not editable, so you have to be careful with that idea. But most of the problem is just that Task it takes found. forever. Power with electricity to produce items in multiply there quantities. inserters on the ground here, too? In other words, even though you can handcraft no. anything... Assemblers will make two of them in the same time it takes your portable tool to make one. And we can build a thousand assemblers, but nobody could ever build another you. Ask yes. So eventually the cave runs out. Um, and you encounter... Stuff. So we can bore through here also to get up there, uh, which we're going to want to do, either there or on the other side. Um, might as well do it here. Yeah, so there's drill speed upgrades that we'll need to get. Also, drill size upgrades. This is a 5x5, five five, and eventually we'll get more. Once we get more, it'll be a little better. Right, we're through. 
Yeah, there's there's more here. I knew there was there was more scan fragments here. Not that we need them, but uh, why the hell not, right? Get free stuff for picking them up, so let's do it. You know me, I like free stuff. Uh, so these this place all has doors in it. Uh, we'll we'll pick those up in a little bit because we'll get orders to find those signals anyways. What's that? Beacon. All these lamps. Fun fact, Breaker. Before they adjusted our suits for them, those creeper plants used to reach out and try to grab anybody who walked by. Got so common that it became a rite of passage for people who joined Deep Recon. Spaghetti got her call sign off of it. Hmm. Alright, so we have more stuff to scan here. And there's all kinds of power here. All these power generators. Uh, these are, I think, the Mark II ones, even? Maybe? Maybe not. We can't delete anything here, uh, so we have to kind of be careful with that. But we can help. The sooner help. you scan these water wheels, the closer you'll be to never having to turn a crank generator again. Ah, uh, this is but the we thing. We should check out that office too. Scanning that core composer fragment seems to have given you a free one in your inventory. Core composer. Drop it down whenever you get the space and power to make it work. Oh, we're gonna make it work. After that, you'll be able to dump cores into it and never worry about placing them one at a time again. Oh, we're gonna do it. these bitches up, though. We're gonna want these water wheels. For sure. I definitely want to keep scanning these blue power fragments because, well, they're useful. You got there. Where are these plants? Okay. Do, 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 do. Heavy cable. And then, yeah, there's like doors up here. Uh, they need advanced circuits and processor units. We have some advanced circuits, but not many. Facility access door unavailable. Refer to display panel for self repair requirements. All kinds of crap in here, though. Ah. Voltage auto step. But I think, if I remember correctly, we can get on the roof here and drop in. Uh, we need our hovercraft, though, to do that, so we'll have to come back up for that. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, no. I like the way you think, we don't. Breaker. Why fix the door when the ceiling is wide open? If this rock had fallen on the facility from above, the protection zone around the structure would have held it in place until it could either be pushed away or drilled apart. For it to have punched through like this... The weight would have had to slowly penetrate the protection zone over... Honestly, I don't know how long. A lot longer than we were going to be here. Hydroelectrical administration. All scans complete. Really? Okay. That's nice. Telling me that I found everything that I could find here. Let's get out of here. Uh, there's something else to scan over there, though. So what we're going to want to do, you see this this thing here is a power connector. We're going to want to run the big, thick cable all the way up here. And that's a fun job to do, because we can get a lot of power off of this, off this river that we can't get elsewhere, basically. More stuff to scan over here. You guys are uh, quite the, uh, quite the pair there. What does this lead to? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, actually, no, it doesn't. It's just a dead end. Don't want to go up here yet. Probably. There's just a door there, though. But we could hit it anyway. Now nah, we'll do this later. It's fine. We'll do this later. Let's go back down to the base. Get some of this... Um, Automated stuff set up. Another Shiverthorn cave here. We can pick up some more of that. Ah, here's a fragment we can scan. That's kind of the end of the road. You can go up this uh, river. 
but it kind of leads to nowhere. Um, and then there's this cave area back here too, which we'll come back in and do in a little while, I think, also. And when I say a little while, I mean probably not tonight. Put this through here. Another cave right here. And some fancy stuff in here. We can go in this one. More stuff to scan. Come on, there you go. Oh, do do do. This is the unobtainium, or not, not not the unobtainium. That's uh, like the kind of like a, a uranium type rock, but not entirely. Uh, but it's um, it's a it's a element we'll want to collect soonish. Okay, so I'll need to automate making some of those um, those cores. Uh, we're going to want to build a crap ton of um, assemblers to make a uh, bunch of stuff like the, f the flooring and things. Uh, I'm also going to want to set up another process of these vines and then... Um, Automate this belt. There we go. So for the water automation stuff, uh, we need to make some more of those cores, I think, first. Uh, but energy... Uh, we need to do this crank connect and then the water wheel. Which means you need to get tier 2 unlocked. In order to unlock tier 2, we need 1,200 ingots of each kind and the plant matter frames. So it's going to be a minute. Uh, let's go harvest this uh, copper from here. Oh, there's a thing. I saw you. I knew they were here someplace. I just couldn't remember where. Uh, some other bits laying around randomly. I'm sure that I've stepped over a few times. It'll be fine. you go. There you go. Grab some iron for them. There's probably more inserters on the ground here. On this side as well. There's one. But I don't need them because I've scanned plenty just comes down to uh, do you want to pick them up for the components and or do you want to trip over them later this and that that and this one more of those uh, these are just about done already we need to make an assembler well, we need to make a lot of them, but let's make one to start with. Uh, logistics? No. Wait, it should be here, right? Oh, we gotta unlock it, don't we? Synthesis? Assembler. We need ten cores for that, so we need to make a few more cores. Uh, tab. Let's make a few cores.
and I'll make a few more things. Uh, so we want the assemblers. And then we're gonna want... We're gonna have to unlock that. So we need to do that crank span ones. We need to make 25 of these suckers. Yeah, fun. Okay. Uh, we do have that core composer though. So we should actually get, get working toward that. Uh, putting that down someplace. And I usually like to put them out of the way as best I can. So let's build over there against that wall, kind of. We're going to need to make a crap ton more of these floors, though. Uh, let's do... Move that. This, 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 and this. Use that for better things. Um, where's that assembler at? Did it get made? Did I make one? I guess I didn't. Okay, let's put these cores up while we're making the cores. Power just went out again. Everything about these type of game is the first automation you get to set up. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, great. These are all joined together now uh, because of this crank connect. So we only have to crank one of them to crank to crank them all. That's handy, too. As long as they're connected in a series like that, which is why I placed them like I did. Oh, I forgot to put the parts in here. Or the, the seeds in here. making those damn cores. Probably shouldn't have made so many, but I kind of wanted them. And eventually I'll end up taking these all down and putting them on the composer thing. But for now, okay, we're almost done now. No, we're not. I lied. We've got... Enough for this, though. Alright, fine. I'm going to cancel the rest for now. Make a couple of these things. I can make some more floors automatically. Rather than having to handcraft them all the time. I could handcraft a bunch. If you're not building spaghetti, you're not doing it right. In my not so humble opinion. Alright, here we go. And I'm just going to hand feed this machine, I think, but uh, we want it to make floors. And it needs, oh, it needs a second machine, right, okay. I got to make the other one. Uh, let's make this one make the um, copper wire then. And that way it can get started. Yeah, let's just feed a crap ton in there, and then we'll make a second machine. And we'll automate that connection with some inserters. Uh, tab, and then you can go... What happened? There. Uh, there we go. And then let's do a couple Test of these. Inserter. 
Use inserters to transfer items between machines and conveyor belts. And then I'm gonna put down a box. Here. And oop, uh, inserters here too. I need to organize my toolbar, but well, that's not what I wanted. There you go. Have at it. Fill, fill them into that box. Let's see. Got lost in the sauce watching Mr. Taco the other night. No idea what he was doing, but it was definite spaghetti. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so we have to activate. Now we're at 30 minutes. Nice. This. I need to go grab some more ore, I think, probably pretty soon. They're still drilling, though, so we're okay. And these are still smelting. Oh, they're out of fuel. Uh, let's put some of this Kindlevine stems in there, as recommended earlier. Let's actually grab half of those back out again. Not that we couldn't keep, keep shoving the plant matter in there, but... Oh, you're done. Okay. This mine's 25 per minute, consuming nine of this particular fuel per minute, so we're gonna have to fill these up with fuel in a little while. Um, what do you have? 60-ish. Let's go with that, and this. That spaghetti you need to see. Let's game it out. That's okay. Yes. Yeah. How's this going? You seem to not be unloading those fast enough. Yeah. We need fast inserters here. Then we have some. Ah, hell. I don't know if this is fast enough either. It looks like it is. Yeah, they're waiting, so. That's plenty fast enough. Actually, I don't even need both of them. Let's go do some building. Over here. Probably not that much. Already out. Ouch. Uh, and then the thingy. The thingy we picked up. Uh, core composer. That's the thingy. Nine. These are these things are friggin' huge. Um, we need a few more. Oh, no, we got plenty. Good. Oh. Right there. Task inbound. Core composer. Supply with research cores via belts and inserters for automatic placement and availability. Yep. I'm gonna do this though. Pick up these boxes again. You put these right up next to. Yeah. I remember now. Why is a little bit mysterious, but you can't. Is that enough room though? Or not yet? Yeah, that's enough. Guys like Taco, Andrew, Kibitz build things like. Yeah, we don't have the patience for that crap. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. Filters. No, we want long inserters. Do we have those unlocked yet? Now, well, let's go here. Just six. Yes. Do like two of those. They should appear right here, I think. And I'm just going to put them in like this. And then 
I can make more of those core composers and feed them into this box and they'll get dumped into this thing. And eventually we'll automate this thing, but we need to automate a few other things first. Let's make all we can. Um, okay, I'm gonna limit this storage to... No, I haven't limiting the inputs right now, so screw that. Feed all the things in. Yeah, we got plenty. Um, let's go handle this automation again, or this manualness again. And then we can do, um, we can rebuild this automated pretty soon. And yet you busted my chops for not continuing, not playing more on that uh, Satisfactory series I did. Because you're doing okay. ADD when you start on something like this, you have to leave it and come back from time to time. Burned out on Foundry? Oh, yeah. Alright, so, uh, let's see. Next, we're going to want to make a bunch of assemblers, which I need a bunch more ore. Or uh, ingots for. So you'll process through 30 per minute of the ore, and these will make us 25 per minute ore. Uh, I thought you fixed these ratios, guys. But it's still like 5 to 6. It's not super horrible. Uh, 5 smelters to 6 miners. We could eventually do that. Uh, automatically. Yeah, it's dead IO. Yeah. Well, they got picked up by one of the publishers. I don't remember which one now. I'm um, still getting filled up. Man. Okay, I'll help. Uh, they got picked up by Paradox, I think, right? And Paradox basically said, okay, we're going to make you wait to release anything more. Yeah, I've got it posting in Discord, too, I think. The updates every however often. So... What happens here is these inserters will put these cores into this, and after every so many, uh, this will build them up here on the surface of it, and then we don't have to lay them out manually anymore. The problem is, is it's still replying, relying on me to do this the old-fashioned way. Now I'm slow about it. Uh, so we need to automate that for sure, but we need to get uh, smelting going better, I think, first first. So let's do that for a little while yet tonight. Then we need to automate this because doing this manually is a bitch. I also need to check something else here. Uh, we have plenty of floors now though, which is what the uh, problem was. So let's do some more flooring. And let's also do some drilling. Yeah, I'll definitely be playing more Foundry. And I'm obviously going to be playing more of this. Um, for time, at least. If not right now. Um, but... Um, I don't know. Dyson Sphere adding the combat just kind of put me off on it a little bit. Um, I know you can turn it off, but I'm like, you don't need combat in a factory game. It's fine. Uh, more of this. It's a boring job, but somebody's got to do it. 
Yeah, let's fix this toolbar a little bit. Uh, so I want to move these here. Uh, those don't need to be in the toolbar anymore because we're not building them anymore. The lights are fine there. Uh, I don't know what else I want to do yet. Yeah, Foundry is multiplayer. Um, I have already highlighted to the usual gang that uh, I would like to play it. If they would like to play it, I would like to do multiplayer on it. Uh, but once it comes like a real version, just having the demo wasn't really worth it to try the uh, multiplayer out. Um, but once we get a real version of it, I think we might try to do it. I make a little bit of extra space here to get um, to get through here, and then you can see here where we were earlier. Uh, we have now uncovered the back side of this iron here, or the way around to the back side of this iron here. Uh, so we were in here earlier, um, and so we can put miners up over here also. Uh, we should probably make some. That'd be good. What did I say? Six miners to five smelters. And the belts carry how much? No, not there. Here? No. Um, wait, B, there it is. I want just conveyor belts, no, conveyor belts mark two. Are they 160? I'm not seeing the regular conveyor belt here, though. Wait, I just saw it. Somewhere. 240. Okay, there we are. It says it when you mouse over it. It's already been built. 240 items per minute. Okay. Oh, you guys are done? Oh, we need to help you out then. You're out of fuel down here. Anyway, you wish to give it to play DSP with the combat and the scale of the planetary invasions. And you think you, you figured you doubt you'd ever play it again? Yeah, com the combat seems forced. Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right. So. We can do some more of these and some more of those. Uh, let's actually do... Uh, move these down here. I don't use the lights as much. Um, let's put up... What was it again? Six of these? Yeah, six of these. Mole. The way they designed the evasions is off-putting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You guys are out of fuel, too. Okay. You can see the coolant there next to the bar getting used. Instead of it showing us a percentage of heat, it now just shows the coolant getting used when it needs to. 
makes your lives a lot easier when you're trying to use the things. Oh, never mind, there's the new ones. One, two, three, four, five. Is that gonna work? I don't know, probably. Let's do it differently anyway. Six. I'm eventually going to automate this fuel delivery, but for right now, we're going to do this the manual way. Uh, fill all those in. I'm going to top these guys off with this stuff just so that they're good. Uh, we'll need to do some belt here. And some more flooring here. Oh, people ask for it. Just nobody I like. Um, Hereish. already done there. Uh, let's do this. And we'll do this. This one... Wait. Uh, 30, right? 30? 25 times 6. We can put this all in one belt. At least for now. There. Take that one out. Let's do... Um, This, that, auto made the merger thing, which is what I wanted to happen. And then we can put this into a smelting area. I take these stairs out here and put the smelting area in here. Although we're gonna need some more floors. Okay, gotta make more floors. Or get more floors, rather. Two floors. Uh, let's see. Let's do... See how big this needs to be, actually. Uh, so, let's do that. We'll come out this way. Uh, maybe starting there. There. Wait, five of these. Let's do a single row then. Okay, so I can take some of this crap out then. It's not all need to be here. Uh, there. That'll be good. Uh-huh. Like that. And then... More of this. One, two, three, four... Wait. That's right. Five, which I don't have yet, but we will grab when we rebuild the other ones. Or we could do... Um, let's make one more. Uh, so, yes, put this back the way that it was, because it was better that way. Foundry said, I think they said there will never be combat. I think. They, they want to do the, the pressure a different way, which is good. 
do that. Eventually we'll belt in some fuel here. For right now I'm gonna manually feed these guys just some of this stuff. Half of one of those. The other half. Half of one of those. The other half. And then you can have that, that's fine. Okay. And then we have outputs over here. I got it. I bumped the volume. There we are. Outputs over here. Like so. And then. There. Don't need that one. And then we can output from these miners. How much, how fast do these guys work? Oh, I don't have fast ones. Well, maybe I do. Twenty items per minute. So they're not quite fast enough. That's why the fast ones are better. All right, fine. Do fast ones then. Uh, so these aren't going to be fast enough, though. So we're going to need 30 per minute into these. Uh, let's do two smalls, then. Two regulars, I mean. Alright, so that gets us a uh, crap ton of iron ingots. You need a little more fuel. Uh, here, have some of these. You're done? Alright, you're coming down. You can finish up. Keep the copper going for a little while longer. So we're making five times fifteen, seventy five iron ingots right now. now. Let's do something similar over here with copper. A little bit more space here. And a lot more space over here. Mold the crap out of this. Do some of that cool that we picked up. Do some power floor here. Look at that. And we need more miners. Guess we could have made those. Four more of them.
And then one of these maybe turned. Let's come on, this way. Uh, back it up by one. Over there instead. All right, uh, belt. Come out this way. Turn right here. Go over this way somewhere. Uh, somewhere indeed. And then this can come this way. Turn, turn. Go this way to somewhere indeed. Let's line these up opposite each other because I'm like that. Uh, so... Something like this. And then smelters would go... Let's see, belt. There. Here. I see you. You need fuel. Here, have that. One iron ore. You all are still smelting that. Okay, fine. And then we can do one of these. Do, do, do. And then we do a belt of ore right here. So then in that case, we want this one here to come out this way. Which means that you come this way. No. This way. All right. And then we can do inserters and all the things. Crank generator's going. Time to crank it. It's also 11.30, so we should think about finishing up here pretty soon. Uh, what I should have done here is put a box here on the end. And uh, put maybe one of these fast boys in here. Just said, hey, load it up. Uh, let's do, like, four stacks, though. I don't want to load it full, full. One more smelter we're going to need made anyways. There we go. And then we can do some fast boys here too. One of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. And one down here. Oopsie. One down here. Right, fuel. I'll give you a few of these. Same. Since we basically have them for no reason, so just do that. And then this can also be extended just a bit more. And then we can do, let's see, smelter goes here. Smelter goes here, a box goes here. I think that's right. And then I can do a belt and a fast boy. 
and then four stacks of this as well. Oh, you're out of fuel down here in the end too? Good. Just delete it. There, and there. Uh, you can have half of that. You can have the other half. Uh, belt. To yeah, to there. These can go here. And the outputs can go here. And there's no that is now there's nowhere near fast enough. Um, because we're making oh I gotta put fuel in these two. Half of that, the other half of that. We're making what did we say it was? Fifteen times five is seventy-five, and one of these can only flip forty. So technically, we should put another one of them here. Uh, and a piece of belt right here. Technically. And then we'll do the same over here for iron, which we should have done a long time ago. I didn't. There we go. Alrighty, so um, what we're going to do... Oh yeah, get that. Oh, you're not getting... Oh, there's no fuel down here, that's why. Uh... Yeah, we got to get some fuel automated, which we'll do with the Kindle Vines, uh, because the bio bricks are much later in the game than they were the last time I played. I know that because I read it. The beginnings of something. I don't know about great, but the beginnings of something. And you just need ore. So we'll get the ore down here. That'll be good. Uh, we'll get the ore in there, and then we can redo this assembly here. Uh, to make to make it automated, um, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do after that. Uh, probably automating the the cores because that's kind of an essential bit, and we don't have it automated right now. Um, it needs lots of copper and iron, so we'll take care of that. Yeah, we'll probably take care of that kind of kind of early. But for now, we're going to leave this here. Uh, let's find ourselves a raid target. Why don't we raid? What do we write Constant Conrad? He's playing Satisfactory. So, kind of keeping it in the. Uh... No, he's not. What's he doing? Oh, I know what he's doing. Yeah, we can raid Conrad. This will be fine. Alright, so thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me, of course. Uh, we'll be back again on Saturday with probably some more of this because, um, well, it's still. It'll still be fresh and new. And then when we um And then we'll decide what we're gonna do next Thursday, Saturday. If we're gonna keep going on this, or if we'll do some factory instead, or what. Uh but for now we're gonna leave this here and uh, we will be back next time. Uh let's see. Thank you guys all for coming and hanging out with me for the chats and the redeems and uh um everything else. Um if, you've, if you're supporting, thank you for your support. In any way you're supporting, uh, by all means, make sure you check out my YouTube channel because there's more content there, as always. And tomorrow night in Discord, Community Gaming Friends, Community, yeah, uh, Community, or, geez, Chill Gaming Friends Community, uh, that's Caladurn, Jeff, Lana, and myself. We all uh, have a Discord that we share now, and we do Community Game Nights on Friday nights uh, during what would otherwise be the stream uh, time so come and join us for that if you're interested we play games that are simple to jump into free or very cheap to play and uh, or to, to buy to acquire and uh, you don't have to really know what we did last week to know uh, anything about what we're doing in the next week so it's kind of really nice to jump into so thanks for coming thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you all again next time bye for now